The following letter was written by a man attached to the Army of Northern Virginia. When they crossed the Potomac River and they started their push into the north, Sunday, September 21st, 1862. On the 8th, we struck up the refrain of Maryland, my Maryland, and camped in an apple orchard. We went hungry for six days. Not a morsel of bread or meat had gone in our stomachs. And our menu consisted of apple and corn. We toasted, we burned, we stewed, we boiled, we roasted these two together and singly, until there was not a man whose form had not caved in and who had not had a bad attack of diarrhea. Our underclothes were foul and hanging in strips, our socks worn, and half of the men were barefooted. Many were lame and sent to the rear. Others of sterner stuff hobbled along and managed to keep up while gangs from every company went off into the surrounding country looking for food. Many became ill from exposure and starvation and were left on the road. The ambulances were full and the whole route was marked with sick, lame, limping lot that struggled to the farmhouses that lined the way and who in all cases secured and cared for them. In an hour after the passage of the Potomac, the command continued the march through the rich fields of Maryland. The country people lined the roads, gazing in open-eyed wonder upon the long lines of infantry. As far as the eye could reach was the glitter of the swaying points of the bayonets. It was the first ragged rebels they had ever seen, and though they did not act as friend or foe, still they gave liberally, and every haversack was full that day at least. No houses were entered, no damage was done, and the farmers in the vicinity must have drawn a long breath as they saw how safe their property was in the very midst of the army. Private Alexander Hunter, 17th Virginia, Company A.